Hey everyone, welcome to week number two of this training. You guys are doing awesome. We're about halfway through, so keep plugging along. I know it's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming at first, but you guys are doing awesome. And you know, please let me know if you guys have any questions throughout all of this. Um, today we are going to go over hosting challenge groups. This has been one of the biggest things, the most successful things that I have done as a coach. Um, it's not only helped me to hit Success Club 10 every month, it's helped me to um, encourage so many people to get healthier through our fitness programs and Shakeology, and it's been the number one way that I've found rock star coaches on my team. So um, hosting challenges is huge and such a big part of your business. So hopefully all of you were either in a challenge group or have been a part of one, so you kind of know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, no big deal. I can kind of fill you in. So basically what a challenge group is, is a private Facebook um, group that you can add people to who have purchased the challenge pack from you. So you basically help people find a workout program that works for them, and then you add them into a group with five to seven other people that are also doing a workout program, um, and then they kind of hold themselves, each other accountable in a group for 30 to 60 days or however long you want to make your group for. Um, for me, I like to make it mandatory that my challengers purchase a challenge pack. So they need to purchase that workout plus Shakeology combination to be a part of my challenge group. And the reason I do that is because the people that purchase a challenge pack have better results than people who don't. So I've, I've invited people who have an old copy of P90X and they just want to dust it off and come into my group. And I've let that happen a few times, but they're just not as dedicated. They haven't spent the money on a challenge pack. Um, just for whatever reason, they really don't give it 100% like my challengers who purchase a challenge pack. So um, that's why I try to make it a requirement. When I am talking to people about joining my challenge group, I give them the price of the workout that they're interested in or the workout that we are doing for that group um, with the, the Shakeology already included. So I try not to even talk about purchasing the program without Shakeology um, because I really do think it's that big of an impact that I just give them the price with Shakeology and talk to them about it that way. Um, so when you're deciding on your challenge group, you want to pick a date and you want to start promoting your challenge group about two to three weeks before the start date. The reason is it takes at least one week for from the time they purchase their product till the time they receive it. So they have to purchase their challenge pack one week prior to the start date of the challenge group. So the reason I like to start promoting two to three weeks before is because it takes some time to talk to people, to find out what their fitness goals are, to help them find a workout program that will help them fit, um, reach those goals. And also just to have that conversation explaining to them what the challenge group is and what the challenge pack includes. It takes time to message back and forth with someone you know, and build that relationship with them. So that's why I like to start promoting two to three weeks before. I primarily promote on Facebook and through Instagram. Those are the two social media outlets that I use the most. So when I am posting about my challenge groups, I post three to four times per week. And I like to post at different times a day and at different, um, uh, different days of the week. So I like to mix it up so hopefully I'm reaching the most people I can. So once you've decided on the start date for your challenge group, back it out about two to three weeks and that's when you want to start promoting your group. Um, also, come up with a catchy name for it. So, you know, it could be um, spring into summer, fit for fall, hot for the holidays, um, makeover for March. You know, come up with something cute and catchy that's going to um, catch the attention of your market, the people that you're trying to reach. So for me, I, I really like to attract to moms because um, that's kind of my market. That's who I am. I'm a mom of two boys and I know how hard it is to go to the gym. So I always like to appeal to other moms that don't want to go to a gym but still want to work out and that they're busy with their kids. So a lot of the names of my challenge groups kind of go with that. So think about who your market is and who you're trying to reach. So when you're promoting your challenge group, the name of your challenge is going to um, resonate with your, with your audience. Um, the other thing 
is you want to try to get five to seven people in a group. I have done groups where I have more people in them and they're really fun, but a lot of times people get lost in the shuffle. So five to seven I've kind of found is the magic number where everyone kind of stays included and um, if they aren't posting, you can easily message them and kind of find out what's going on with them. So anything more than that, it gets a little overwhelming to keep track of everybody. So five to seven people. Now, if you are selling, you know, getting five to seven people healthier on challenge packs and in your challenge group, then you're going to be hitting Success Club 10 every month. So it's, it, that's kind of a no-brainer. If, if your goal is to hit Success Club 10 and grow your business fast, then you're, you need to sell five challenge packs to, per month or get five people in your challenge group every month. And then you know you're going to be hitting Success Club 10. Um, the next thing I want to tell you about is that I'm going to post some invite templates into the file section of this boot camp group. An invite template is basically a step-by-step -step, um, guide in how to talk to people about purchasing a challenge pack and becoming a part of your challenge group. So it gives you ideas of what you can post on Facebook to promote your group, what you can say to people um, who say they're interested so that you can find out more about them, find out more about their fitness goals, um, then what to say to them once they tell you their fitness goals and how to kind of give them a deadline and um, get them to commit. I think that's the hardest part. If you aren't giving them deadlines and you're not, um, you know, you're not putting them a little pressure on them to make a decision and get into your group, it's really easy for people to kind of put it off and put it off. So these templates kind of help teach you how you can set a deadline without sounding salesy and how you can really get people to commit um, into your group. So I will post that in the file section. Um, and then like I said, Challenge groups are one of the best way to find coaches. So we'll talk a little bit more about how to get a coach and what to tell ask the, or I'm sorry, what to say to people that are interested in coaching. But I will tell you that challenge groups basically create coaches because in the challenge group, people are being a product of the product. They're doing their workouts cons consistently. They're drinking Shakeology. And if they're doing that, they're going to get results, and people are going to start asking them what they're doing. And then they're going to be sharing what they're doing and inviting people to do it with them. And it really, really creates a coach. So in my challenge group, I like to look for those people that are posting every day and who are inspiring people and motivating me. Um, and I like to approach them about coaching at the end of the challenge and just tell them, hey, you're a rock star, and you're doing everything that a coach is already doing. I would love to have you on my team. Um, so keep that in mind. When you're running challenge groups, your whole goal is to get people results and get people motivated and pumped up for Beachbody because that's just going to create more coaches. Um, and if it doesn't create a coach, they're going to be talking to a bunch of people about how much fun they had in your challenge group, and then you're just going to get business from your challengers, and that's how it happened to me a ton. So anyway, that's kind of the basics on running the challenge group. Like I said, I'll post some more information. I'm also going to give you my 30-day template and my 21-day template. So these are um, templates that you can use um, for ideas on what to post in your group every day. Because sometimes that can get overwhelming. So I'll give you a ton of information and a ton of um, ideas so that running these challenge groups are going to be a piece of cake for you. Um, that's it for tonight, and I will talk to you tomorrow.